So I wrote a little speech for you guys. Hope you guys like it. Uh, so on January 20th, 2015, I watched the President of the United States deliver the State of Union, but I wasn't watching him on TV. I was sitting right next to the First Lady Michelle Obama, surrounded by leaders of our government, Supreme Court justices, social innovators, and ordinary citizens like me. After the speech, I met the President himself, and I will never forget what he told me. He gave me a hug, we took a great picture, and then he looked at me and said, you're an inspiration to all of us. But this wasn't my first time hanging out with the Obama family. <laughs> In July of 2014, I sat at a round table directly opposite the First Lady when she told me and other nine students from around the country her story of perseverance and ambition. I had the opportunity to tell the First Lady my story and how my friends, teachers, and family all played a role in why I was switching majors from physical therapy to political science, because math is hard. <laughs> my senior year of high school, I had the chance to take a sociology class where I was able to learn about the inequality in education. The class inspired me in a way that no other class has inspired me before. And I also took Generation Citizen and was able to take part in Civics Day where my group presented a poster on ways to better school lunch, because I hate it. I'm not going to lie to you guys, when I got invited to take part in Generation Citizen Civics Day, I really didn't want to come. I thought it would be boring, but it was a day off from school, so I decided to come. <laughs> Most of y'all lying. Y'all know that's the only reason y'all here. <laughs> I thought I was just going to hear a bunch of grown-ups tell me something inspiring, and I go home, feel motivated to change the world for a few days, then I just go back and joking around in class and doing all the same thing as before, feeling as if I had no way to actually make a difference. I was sitting in the same seats that you guys were sitting in, making jokes and laughing. But then I heard the guest speakers talk, and I felt something was different this time. I listened to every single word, and I really did feel passionate about making a change in my community. And after my presentation, I went up to Generation Citizen Executive Director Scott Warren and told him about my sociology class and what I was learning. He gave me his business card, and I emailed him, and he responded the next day. So thank you for that. From that day forward, I took part in many great opportunities and met a bunch of wonderful people because of Generation Citizen. I attended a lobbying trip in Albany and learned how lobbying works and really showed me that I could make a difference. In Albany, a group of us advocated for teens on board, which would allow 16 and 17 year olds to join New York City community boards. I took part in this because I strongly believe the youth has power and knowledge that older generations can't provide. We are the future and we must embrace the chance that people are willing to listen and hear our voices. I also had an opportunity in the summer to work with City Council Member Richie Torres and thanks to the Community Change Fellowship Internship, where I was able to talk and listen to people in my own community complain about what they felt needed changing in the community. I saw that many people feel they do not have a voice and just give up trying and just live life with whatever is handed to them. Seeing that inspired and motivated me to let the world know that we can all make a change. Whether you're 14 or 74, do not let anybody tell you that your voice does not matter. You guys are already making a change just by being here, so congrats to you guys. What you guys are doing today is going to be remembered, and I'm truly excited that I get to stand here and look at all your faces, because when I look at the guy next to you, girl next to you, I see potential. I see a person just like you, just like me, who is inspired and motivated to make a change. Everybody here has the opportunity to become great, and as long as you guys stay focused and take advantage of the opportunities, whether big or small, life is all about communicating. Nobody can read your mind, so remember, don't be embarrassed to raise your hand in class or speak up first. Make an impact where you can. Your change does not have to be in Albany, and your change doesn't have to be in the White House or in Washington, D.C. But get involved. It can be later on at home, at home or tomorrow in class. Don't be a follower. Be the leader. Don't listen to what society portrays as cool. You set the standard. It might be scary, but know that people are willing to listen and help as long as you stay motivated and set your mind to what you want. Everything is possible, and although you might hit a few bumps along the road, remember that those people who face the most adversity are the ones we write and read about all the time. It's been a pleasure being up here talking to you guys, and I wish you guys nothing but success in your future. Have fun and remember that anything is possible, even taking a selfie with the president.